And welcome to your Gone Market Update on Charts of Interest for today, Thursday the 29th of December. Hope you're all well and enjoying your break for those who have taken one. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gone Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. Look at what's coming across the news wires. Well, obviously, overnight we saw a weaker session again in the US. All major indices posting in excess of 1% losses. Big tech underperforming once again. Apple was down in excess of 3%. And now we're seeing some of the indices testing early November lows. There was no new catalyst really that would drove this. Uh, really, there's that underlying sentiment, uh, which is based on fears about the impact of a potential recession on the economy. We did see US housing data weak, but we expected that anyway. So nothing really obvious to drive markets down, but down they went. US futures are near neutral in Asian trade. Last time I looked, there were pennies above neutral. Asian indices are following that weaker US lead down in early trading. The ASX is slightly off its lows, just under 1% to the downside. And because we finished at the lows of the session in the US, we are also seeing European equity futures pointing slightly lower. The VIX is somewhat surprisingly fairly near neutral. It hasn't moved much or weak so far, despite weakness in equities. That's unusual suggests perhaps that the big boys are out and there isn't that massive amount of fear in the market. But nevertheless, it has stopped going down, suggesting there is some anxiety creeping in, perhaps. The US dollar index is trading in a tight range. It is down in Asia again this morning after a positive session yesterday, which saw gold pull back towards 1800 and copper also failing to break. The top of the range, it's around about mid-range now, 382. Oil also failed to break resistance that remains near top of the range on the Brent crude CFD contract. A really choppy session in oil overall. Bitcoin looks as though it's been subjected to some selling again today. It's trading towards the low of the current range and still very much below 17,000. Very little data to move the needle at all, but the weekly jobs number out of the US is likely to impact sentiment. We want a Goldilocks number on that. Not too hot which would give a green light to the Fed to be more aggressive, not too cold, to play into the narrative of a declining economy. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Very little to shout about in most markets because they are pretty flat today. They are choppy. We saw the euro gain against the USD. As you can see on this 30-minute chart, we've identified two lines of interest, which if we look at the daily chart, you can see why this is. Uh, so between 105.82 and 106.56, so around 70 pips from top to bottom. So we need to see some movement out of one of these lines here to suggest that this might be worth having a look at. On the ASX, there's very little, which is looking positive, but we did note A2 Milk is pushing higher again after that pullback, you see, that we saw from the middle of December. So we've got a trend continuation, perhaps, with this break over 692 looking interesting, probably wait until it broke seven dollars. In terms of context on this, if we just have a look at the weekly chart there, you can see there's plenty of upside there, but we would prefer a break over seven uh, and then a 770, the next price target in the medium term. So that could be one to watch out for on a day where there's very few bright spots with only one sector to the upside in healthcare, but that isn't looking particularly flash either it's a stock pickers market and this could be one worth some consideration trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now